guys, welcome back. Houston Math Prep here. In this video, we're going to take a look at the base two or binary system. There are two digits used in the base two system, zero and one. The binary system is most frequently used in computer programming. So let's take a look at how it works. Comparing base 10 and base two, zero is the same in both, but in base two, we use the subscript two to differentiate. One is the same way, but now we're out of digits in our binary system. So we start moving to the next place value over and counting groups of two. So for the number two, we have one group of two and zero groups of one. So two is written as 10 base two. Using that same logic, thinking about three as one group of two and one group of one, we have 11 base two. When we get to four, now we have two groups of two, but two is not an option for us here. So again, we need to move to the next place value and start counting groups of four. So four is actually the number 100 base two because we have one group of four, zero groups of two, and zero groups of one. The number five has one group of four, zero groups of two, and one group of one, so it is the number 101 base two. We continue in this same pattern for the number six at 110 base two because it has one group of four, one group of two, and zero groups of one. For the number seven, take a second and pause. See what you think it will be. All right, we're back. It is 111 base two because seven is one group of four, one group of two, and one group of one. When we get to eight, eight we could think of as two groups of four. However, we don't use the digit two in the binary system. So now we need to move another place value and start counting groups of two times two times two, or eight. So eight is the number 1000 in base two, because it is one group of eight, zero groups of four, zero groups of two, and zero groups of one. Here we have the number nine, which is one group of eight and one group of one, and the number 10. So one group of eight, zero groups of four, one group of two, and zero groups of one. One thing that we wanna notice about the binary system is that each place value represents a power of two. We can see that even by getting to the number 10 in base 10, we are already in the fourth place value of base two. So you can imagine that the numbers get really large really quickly in a binary system. So let's think about how can we write a number in base two as a number in base 10? Can we convert 101101 in base two to a number in base 10? Well, certainly we can, we just need to think that each one of these digits represents a power of two. So we start with here, groups of two to the zero power, and then we increase by one. So each digit represents how many groups of that power of two we have. So this says that we have one group of two to the fifth, or 32, plus zero groups of two to the fourth, plus one group of two to the third, which is eight, plus one group of two squared, which is four, plus zero groups of two, plus one group of two to the zero power, which is one. So all in all, we have 32 plus eight plus four plus one, or 45, in base 10.
All right, let's try that again. This one had, has even more digits. So we'll again, we'll start with two to the zero power, two to the one, two squared, cubed, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh, and even all the way up to two to the eighth power. Now two to the eighth power is 256. So this number says we have one group of 256. Let's try that again. 56, there we go. Plus zero groups of two to the seven, plus one group of two to the sixth, which is 64, plus zero groups of two to the fifth, or 32, plus one group of two to the fourth, which is 16, plus zero groups of eight, plus zero groups of four, plus one group of two, plus one group of one. So we have 256 plus 64 plus 16 plus two plus one or 339 in base 10. Now, one question to think about is if we can go one direction, can we go the other? Well, of course we can. Without counting from one, how do we change the number 36 to a number in base two? Well, we can do this a number of different ways. One way we can is thinking, thinking about the largest power of two that fits inside 36. For us, that would be 32. So we could think of 36 as 32 plus four. So this tells us we have one group of two to the fifth power, or 32, plus one group of two squared, or four. So starting from kind of the powers of two, we have, if we're gonna have up to the fifth, this would be the zero, one, two, three, four, five. Well, we have one group of two to the fifth, zero groups of two to the fourth, zero groups of two to the third, one group of two to the second, zero groups of two to the first, and zero groups of two to the zero. Adding in our subscript, and there we have it. One, zero, zero, one, zero, zero is the number 36 in base 2. All right, let's look at another method for doing that same thing. For the number 112 in base 10, we could also repeatedly divide by 2, noting any remainder. So 112 divided by 2 is 56 with a remainder of zero. If we continue that pattern, 56 divided by two is 28. Again, remainder zero. 28 divided by two is 14, remainder zero. 14 divided by two is seven, remainder zero. 7 divided by 2 would be 3 with a remainder of 1, because 2 times 3 is 6, plus 1 is 7, and 3 divided by 2 is 1 with a remainder of 1. Now to get our final answer, we're going to start here and record our remainders going upward. So the number 112 in base 10 is the number 1110000 in base 2. All right, our next topic is going to be arithmetic in base 2. We want to look at how do we add numbers in a binary system. 
Well, we do this pretty much the same way we add numbers in base 10, except that here we have to think about carrying groups of two instead of any groups of 10. So starting all the way on the right, zero plus zero is zero. Zero plus one is one. Zero plus zero is zero. Zero plus one is one. And one plus nothing underneath is one. So in this example, we can get our answer without having to do any carrying. But let's take a look at what happens if we have something other than just ones and zeros in line. So let's take a look at this problem, where right from the start we get one plus one is two. Now two is not a digit in the binary system, so one plus one, we think of that as zero groups of one and carry a group of two. Then one plus one, again, is two, so we'll keep zero groups of one and carry a group of two. So we'll have one plus one plus one is three. Three is one group of one plus one group of two to be carried. One plus one plus zero is two, so that will be zero groups of one, and one group of two to carry, and one plus one plus one is three, or one group of one, and one group of two. So there we have our answer in base two to this addition problem, one, one, zero, one, zero, zero, base two. Now, if we can add, of course, we also want to subtract. This works the same as in base 10, only when we borrow, we're going to be borrowing groups of two. So here we go. Zero minus zero is zero. One minus zero is one. In our next place value, we would be saying zero minus one, but we can't do that, so we're going to come over and borrow a group of two. So now we're going to think 2 minus 1 is 1, and then now we're out of digits to subtract, so we'll bring down what we have left. So our answer to this subtraction problem is 1, 0, 1, 1, 0, base 2. Alright guys, that does it for this video on base 2 or the binary system. Until next time, we'll catch you in a future video.